Today, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to trade futures directly on TradingView. We won't rush. I'll explain everything step-by-step, -step, and by the end of this video, you'll know how to set up a broker or demo account, place live trades from the chart, understand the pros and cons, look at funded accounts, find the best resources for learning, and apply smart risk management. Let's get started. The first step is simple. Open your browser and head over to tradingview.com. If you don't already have an account, no problem. Just click Get Started for free. Registration only takes a moment, and you can use your email or a social login. Once you're signed in, you'll land on your dashboard. At the top menu, hover over Products and select Super Charts. This is the main terminal where all your charting and trading will happen. On the right-hand side, open the watch list. This is where you'll track the futures contracts you want to trade. Click the plus sign, select the futures category, and start adding contracts. For example, you might add the Bitcoin futures, Russell 2000, Silver futures, Dow Jones, and Euro futures. As soon as you click the plus sign, each one will appear in your watch list. Click the X icon to close the search. Now you have a personalized futures board ready to go. Now that your workspace is set up, let's move on to brokers. At the bottom of the chart, click Trading Panel. This is where you'll connect your account. Depending on your region, you'll see options like Interactive Brokers or Tradeavate for Futures. Click your broker, choose Connect, and log in with your credentials. Once you're connected, you can place trades without leaving the chart. But before we place any real trades, let's talk about practice. TradingView includes a built-in simulator called Paper Trading. It looks and feels exactly like a live account, but it uses virtual money. This is the safest way to learn the workflow without putting capital at risk. In the trading panel, click Paper Trading, and you're good to go. From here, you can test order entry, manage positions, and see your profit and loss update in real time. When you're ready for more chart space, just collapse the panel. So, let's actually place a futures trade right now. The first thing you need to do is select the contract you want to trade. For example, let's choose the S&P 500 futures from the watch list. Once you click it, the chart will load immediately. Next, go ahead and minimize the watch list panel to give yourself more space. Now, look down at the bottom of the screen and click on Trade. From here, you'll see the order ticket, and this is where we can place our trade on the S&P 500 futures contract. Taking a buy or sell trade in futures is very straightforward, and you can do it with three main order types, market, limit, and stop orders. Let's start with a market order. When you select market, the trade is executed instantly at the current price level. For example, if we want to place a buy trade, we simply select buy, choose the number of contracts, let's say two units, and right away you'll see the margin required for that trade displayed on the ticket. From here, you can also set a take profit level, for example, 6,620, and a stop loss at 6,580. Once everything looks correct, click the buy button. The order fills immediately at the live market price, and your position is active with two contracts. You'll see it appear on the chart along with your stop and target lines. To close this position, just click Close Position, Confirm, and the trade is exited automatically. Now let's look at a limit order. A limit order works differently. Instead of entering at the current market price, you set the price you want to buy or sell from. For example, let's say we want to buy if price pulls back to 6,570. Type that number into the price box. Select the number of contracts. For this example, we'll use one unit. And then set your exits. We can set a take profit at 6,625 and a stop loss at 6,540. You'll also need to choose time and force. 
If you select week, the order stays active for the next seven days until it's either filled or expires. If you select day, the order will remain active only for the current session. If it's not filled within 24 hours, it cancels automatically. Once everything is ready, click buy. The limit order is now placed. It won't trigger immediately. Instead, it will activate only if price reaches 6,570. To cancel it before that happens, simply click the cancel order button and the pending order is removed. Placing a short trade is just as simple. All you need to do is click on sell, then enter the sell limit price. This is the price where you want your short position to be triggered. For example, let's set it at 6,600. Next, add your exits. For the take profit, we'll use 6,540. For the stop loss, let's set it at 6,620. Then choose your time and force. If we leave it on day, that means the order will remain active only for today's session. Once everything looks correct, click sell. The order is now placed and if price reaches 6,600, your short position will be activated automatically. Managing risk is also straightforward. If you want to adjust your stop loss after the order is active, just drag the line on the chart to the new level. You can do the same with your take profit. Drag it to where you prefer and confirm the update. This way, you always stay in control of your risk and targets. Now that you've seen how to place trades, let's quickly step back and look at the strengths and drawbacks of futures. On the positive side, major contracts like the NASDAQ, S&P 500, gold futures and crude oil are highly liquid, so orders fill smoothly. Trading runs almost around the clock, five days a week, which gives flexibility for different time zones. On the other hand, every futures contract has an expiration date, so if you hold longer, you need to roll to the next one. Some traders also use funded programs such as Top Step or Apex. You pay to take an evaluation, follow strict rules, and if successful, you trade the firm's capital and split profits. They're useful for consistent traders but require discipline. To keep learning, check the CME website for contract specs and trading view ideas for strategies. So let's wrap this up. Today you learned how to set up TradingView, build a futures watchlist, connect a broker, or start with paper trading, and place both buy and sell orders directly from the chart. We also covered the main pros and cons of futures, looked at how funded accounts work, and pointed you toward the best resources like CME and TradingView ideas to keep learning. Remember, this tutorial is for education only. If it helped, hit like, subscribe for more guides, and comment below what the futures contract you'd like me to break down next. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.